a roller coaster year at City Hall, and Mayor John Tory stopped by Breakfast Television this morning to break it all down as part of his annual year in review. And one thing may surprise you. He says one of the major changes for the better in 2019 was the city's relationship with Premier Ford and Queen's Park. In the first uh, period of his uh, time in office, and it may well be just something where he was settling in, but we were getting all these, you know, I've described them as emails at midnight saying a policy's changed, we're cutting something, we're cancelling something, there was no consultation, no discussion, no nothing. And this is with the biggest city in the country and something that admittedly uh, everybody says is the economic engine of Ontario. Now um, it is much, much better. I mean, the ministers are coming and consulting in advance. The Premier himself is in touch with me about these different things. We talk about things in advance. That doesn't mean, look, if the occasion arises where I have to fight again, I will fight because my job is to fight for Toronto and make sure that it gets uh, what it needs and that things are not cut unilaterally. The city and the province also reaching a deal on the Ontario line this fall, providing light rail from the Ontario Science Centre to Ontario Place. We need it. We need it in places like Thorncliffe Park and Flemington Park. Uh, we need it all the way down to provide relief for the Young Street subway, which is overcrowded, so we're going to get on with it. In the wake of a record number of shootings on Toronto streets, the mayor says he will be standing firm on his calls for a handgun ban in the city. I'm going to call together a meeting of the mayors from the GTA and we will invite somebody from the province and the federal government to come and sit down and say, all right, we're trying to provide additional support for the police through the police budget. We're advocating uh, changes to laws like the bail laws, which are producing some ridiculous results of people being out two and three times on gun charges. And we're going to be allocating increased investment to kids and families to help address the root causes of crime. With at least 60 fatal collisions on city streets, Tory says Vision Zero will remain a priority to keep pedestrians safe, but it requires change in driver behavior. We've really got to count on people to slow down, stop the distracted driving, and, and the onus does rest principally on car drivers. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. I mean, people are in these big, powerful vehicles, and everybody else, pedestrians and cyclists, are more vulnerable. We got bigger goals. We got and the biggest bigger. highlight of 2019? <laughs> The Raptors bringing home the NBA championship in June. And the people who were there were people, yes. some of them weren't even basketball fans. They were just people having a good time, loving life in Toronto. Right. And, you know, I thought it was fantastic. For our full interview with the mayor, including what he thinks is essential to make housing more affordable here in the city, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. At Nathan Phillips Square, Tammy Sutherland, City News.